Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss about current electricity. So far, we have been discussing about electrostatics, which is the study of charges at rest. Okay, but whenever we are dealing with electrical circuits, we are dealing with electrical gadgets. We need charges in motion because it's only when the charges move, when you see that the current is flowing, when you see that the gadget is working, the electrical circuit is working. In fact, your uh, electric bulb glows only when charges move through it, charges flow through it. Electric fan also works when uh, charges move through its coil. Your radio, your television, everything works only when charges move through them. So that's why it's very important to study charges in motion. So current electricity is the study of the moving charges, charges in motion and always remember that when the charges are moving they constitute electric current when the charges are moving they constitute electric current and electric current is of two types direct current and alternating current Direct current is the one where charges are moving in only one direction and alternating current is the one where charges are moving back and forth in the conductor. In this chapter, we will restrict our study to direct current only when the charges are moving in one particular direction only. Next, we are going to study about current carriers. What are current carriers? Current carriers means the charged entities that are constituting the electric current. Actually, uh, in every different conducting substance, the charged entities are different. The, so, the charge carriers are those which are carrying the charge forward and which are responsible for conductors, conductance, sorry. So, we'll study about current carriers. So, current carriers exist in solids, liquids and gases also. So, in solids, what are the current carriers? So, in solids, we have conductors. We have semiconductors, we have insulators. So, there are conductors uh, that are solids like metals and then there are semiconductors that are solids. Uh, there are insulators that are solids. Talking about the conductors that are metals, okay. So, metals are conductors and they are solids as well. In the metals, what are the charge carriers? What carry current? There are many, many free electrons there. Okay, there are many, many free electrons there which actually carry the charge. And talking about semiconductors, semiconductors like germanium, silicon, uh, so, in those semiconductors, you have electrons and holes as the current carriers and then there are insulators. Insulators have no charge carriers specifically in them. Just give me a second. See, conductors, solids and conductors. So, I am talking about like sodium. So, you know that the shell-wise configuration of sodium is 281. So, this one goes as valence electron. So, this valence electron is actually a free electron which roams uh, around, you know, uh, that roams in the entire lattice. So, you have a sodium lattice over here. There are many atoms of sodium over here. 
and this is the free electron so that valence electron free electron it is uh, equally attracted by the nucleus of the other atom so it can actually jump into the orbit of the other atom where the free electron of that other atom can go to any other orbit so basically the electrons are not that stable the free electrons the valence electrons are not that stable um, because there is only one electron which is uh, uh, you know roaming around the whole lattice so that's why we call them free electrons so in case if you will attach the two ends to a battery like you have a positive terminal here you have a negative terminal here so you are already knowing that there are many many free electrons there so that many free electrons can tend to move towards the positive terminal of the battery and of course they are somehow free electrons so and what is left behind positively charged ion which moves very very slowly you know impractically you can say that its, its velocity is zero actually so what happens so when these electrons tend to move towards the positive terminal and those free, uh, positive ions tend to move towards the negative uh, electron the negative terminal of the battery so what are you going to see that charges are moving charges are moving current is getting produced so in metals what are the charge carriers free electrons and positive ions mostly it's free electrons okay because the ions are very heavy so their velocity is so 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 less so after that we i told you about semiconductors what are semiconductors like germanium silicon their electronic configurations are tricky like they are 284 so neither these four electrons can be lost nor that uh, gain of four electrons can happen so basically covalent bonding is there so when covalent bonding is there and the semiconductor is heated up don't you think that the bonds will start breaking of course yes and whenever a covalent bond breaks in case of a semiconductor what happens a hole is generated and a and an electron is generated so in case of a semiconductor so in case of uh, semiconductors what are the charge carriers electrons and holes and in case of insulators there are no charge carriers because they do not conduct electricity after that we have liquids uh, in liquids the conductors are just uh, like electrolytes right what are electrolytes like nacl cuso4 so nacl when dissociates it will give you na plus and cl negative this na plus will tend to move towards the negative terminal of the battery and this cl negative will tend to move towards the positive electrode you know uh, or na plus moves towards the negative electrode so basically what happens in electrolytes what are the charge carriers not the electrons but the ions positively charged ions negatively charged ions what happens exactly in an electrolyte uh, just see here this is some electrolyte you have poured it in here these are the electrodes one is uh, connected to positive terminal and the other is connected to negative so one becomes positive and the other becomes negative so now when you have made a solution of nacl and you see that the ions are dissociated like na plus cl negative now this na plus will move towards the negative electrode and this cl negative will move towards the positive electrode so eventually the current is produced because charges are moving charges are not stationary here so uh, in electrolytes what is the cause of conduction what are the charge carriers positively charged ions and the negatively charged ions next we are going to study gases so gases usually don't conduct don't conduct at all but what happens when you just apply a very high potential difference to a gas then it becomes ionized the gaseous atom may lose one electron and uh, left behind is the positively charged ion core so when you apply a very high potential difference then you can see that the gas might conduct 
ओके सो वॉट आर द चार्ज कैरियर्स इन दैट केस एन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड अ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज आयन कोर सो दी दिस इज द करंट कैरियर्स इन ऑल द कंडक्टर्स इंसुलेटर्स इन एवरी स्फियर ओके 